One of the most common questions that I'm asked from millennials and just people in general who want to get into the real estate market for the first time is with the constantly increasing prices of homes in the greater Toronto area especially, how can I save enough of a down payment quickly so I'm not priced out of the market and I can get in right now? So in this video, I'm going to touch on five tips to help you save your down payment and get yourself into the real estate market before you're completely priced out. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name is Mark Steele. I'm your real estate broker and every Monday I share my advice, information and 10 years of real estate experience with you. But before we get started, be sure to crush that like button and smash subscribe so you can stay tuned and learn how to win in the real estate game every single Monday. So to get straight into it, saving for a down payment is not always going to be easy. It'll take discipline, it'll take some hard work, and it could take a lot of time. Some people save up for years for their first down payment, whereas some people work hard and they get their down payment saved a lot more quickly. So we're gonna get into these five tips to help you save as fast as possible for your down payment. Just before I get into the list, I have a previous video that talks about how much money you'll actually need to save for a down payment for each price range of home. And it breaks down how much you'll need for a house that's under $500,000, how much you need for a house that's between five hundred and a million, and how much you'll need for a property that is over a million dollars. So click on the link above, or I'll put the link in the description down below, and you can see that video for more details about down payments. So tip number one is probably going to be the most convenient and simple way to save up a down payment, and that's going to be to transfer a fixed amount of any income that you make into a special savings account every single month. So if your boss pays you $2,000 every single month, set it up with your bank account that every time you make income or every time you're paid with your direct deposit or your boss pays you however they pay you, an automatic amount is transferred from that income into a separate account. What this does for you is takes the guesswork and the thinking out of saving your money. So instead of seeing a $2,000 check and thinking, what can I buy this month or what can I spend it on that's not going to be put towards my savings, something that takes a little more discipline and a little more effort, just make it automatic. Don't even think about it. Have the money come in and all you see is maybe $1,500 out of that $2,000. But you know that that $500 that you're saving is put away safe and you can hopefully commit yourself to not using it until you have time and enough money saved to spend that down payment. Tip number two is lower your expenses. Now for some people this might be easier. Maybe you spend a lot on entertainment every single month. Maybe you go to the movies or go to restaurants. <laughs> um, not so much right now, obviously. <laughs> or maybe you have a lot of money that you're spending on your TV subscriptions, Netflix or Disney, or whatever else the case may be. Look at your spreadsheet, look at your bank statements every single month and really understand what you're spending your money on. Now if you can make reductions, I highly suggest you do so because Every dollar counts and whether you're spending $10 or $100 on entertainment or things that you don't need to sustain yourself every single month, all that money will go towards savings and something that will help you to build your financial future going forward. So once again, tip number two, lower your expenses. I highly suggest having a spreadsheet for yourself or going to your bank statements and seeing exactly what you're spending on every single month. If it's not rent or food or gas or things that you need to get yourself to work to build more income, then consider reducing it. Maybe even cutting it off 100% until you have enough down payment saved to get to that next step in your life. Tip number three is pay off your high interest debt. Now for those of you who have credit cards, you understand that if you don't pay off your balance every single month, you are charged interest based on a certain percentage that will have been agreed upon or signed on with the credit card company. So. One of the fastest things you can do to reduce the payments that you're making every single month is to reduce your high interest debt. If, for example, you have multiple credit cards and one card charges you 20% interest on your balance every month and the other one charges 10% interest, do everything you can to pay off that 20% interest card first because that's going to charge you the most interest every single month, which means it's setting you back more than the 10% card is. If you can, I'd consider even transferring the balance of your 20% interest card to your 10% interest card and consolidating that debt to a lower interest payment. So again, you can pay it off a little bit faster and not have additional or higher interest payments every single month. Credit card debt can be devastating for some people the higher it is because every month that you're not paying off that debt, 
you're gonna be paying more and more in interest charges. And if you bought something for $10 in January and you haven't paid it off yet come March or April or May, that $10 purchase now became $15 or $20 because you haven't paid the interest yet. So again, tip number three is pay off your high interest debt and help yourself to save that much faster. Tip number four is borrow from a relative. Now this tip may not be possible for everyone, but for those of you who it is possible for, consider talking to your parents or grandparents or any other relatives that you have that would be willing to give you a gift or to lend you money for your down payment. It could be 5,000, 20,000, or maybe even more. But like every other tip here, every bit counts. So talk to your relatives, see if they're willing to help you save for your down payment by giving you a gift. Now, when you do apply for your mortgage or want to get pre-approval, your mortgage broker may ask where the money came from, and of course, gifts are allowed. So in a future episode of this YouTube series, I will talk to a mortgage person and have them walk you through a little more details about gifts and income and other sources of money that you have saved for your down payment. But again, for this specific tip, borrow from a relative, ask them for a gift, and keep it saved along with the other savings that you've made. And finally, tip number five, consider getting a second job. Like every other tip that I've given you in this video, every bit counts. So even if you get a second job temporarily, that extra 500 to $1,000, whatever the case may be, will help you to save towards your down payment that much faster. So consider getting a second job and that income will help you to either save for your down payment or again, possibly pay off your high interest debt that much faster as well. All right, so tip number five, consider getting a second job or an additional stream of income to help you save for your down payment. And that's it guys, five very quick and easy tips to help you save for your down payment a little bit faster, just so you can get into the real estate market and not be priced out. All right, so consider those. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me through email, leave a comment down below with any of the tips that you have tried for yourself. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more real estate videos every single Monday. I'm Mark Steele, your real estate broker, and I'll talk to you soon.